Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Min and Nail Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today, it's very much appreciated. Just going to be doing a general reading. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest, don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I may say he or she, sometimes the story might be vice versa. Okay? Alright. I'm getting somebody who's been having a lot of um, vivid dreams lately, particularly about a certain person um, that was once in your life, and I do feel that it, it is a female that you had a fallout with. And this particular female's been coming to your dreams quite often, okay? Now, I don't know whether she needs to communicate with you or... Um, it's an indication of whatever happened between you and her um, is something that is repeating in the present moment, okay? So I kind of feel like the fallout between you and her was because that she may have gone after your man. And um, and I kind of feel like there's, there's either the same thing happening in this present moment where somebody that you know is going after your man or otherwise you need to get in contact with that with that woman that, that you're dreaming about. All right. All right, let's see what we got for you. Okay, we've got the 7 of wands, the high priestess and the hangman in reverse. No, it's not in reverse. Somebody's feeling stuck. I feel there's somebody that's... Um, they, they do want to talk to you. There's somebody that's rushing in that wants to talk to you. Um, be careful with people that rush in because they tend to not have a plan. Okay. Um, but they see you as, as somebody that they um, that they they want to rush in. They want to see you. You're, you're coming in as the four of wands. Okay. Um, four of wands is somebody's um, twin flame, soulmate, um a connection that that is just beautiful okay so i kind of feel like there is somebody rushing in that wants to talk to you okay but i also feel that whoever um they're wanting to meet up with is very um detached right now or is with somebody that they're having a power struggle with to to escape they seem to be focusing a lot on their um on their finances They do want to find the strength to come and see you. You you are seeing this person as your wish fulfillment, okay? Um, they may be traveling right now or going through some um, heavy burdens with the, the Queen of Swords. It's a bit of a struggle. Bit of a power struggle in this relationship, you know, with the family dynamics and the... The finances and the work, almost like um, wherever they go, there's always going to be a member of a family around them or somebody that they feel like they're being watched. When it comes to you, they are trying to, um, they do want to create a new beginning after an ending. Uh, I think both of you are focused on your on your money right now. Yeah, they are being watched by the Queen of Swords. They're kind of like working really hard and um, focusing on their family. Uh, they have turned their backs on, on things that no longer serve them. Um, they are after a brand new beginning, okay? But they want something that's going to be financially stable. 
Oh, we've got the chariot and we've got the emperor. So somebody wants to come in and take control of this situation. They're not in a good place right now. And they are waiting on a message or they may respond to a message. Hmm. Look, they, they have been involved in a few third party situations, okay? And I, I kind of feel there's a lot of people that are, uh, are interfering here and are trying to stop this person from coming towards you or they're trying to stop themselves. But they do see you as a wish fulfillment, okay, with the Ace of um, Chalice is that, you know, you are uh, the love that they want to be with, okay. But um, they're hanging on to the love that you had um, with them, but they are stuck in a family environment okay um they're feeling a little bit left out in the cold or you're feeling left out in the cold all right mm. yeah look there's something going on in this person's home um where there's a lot of conflict a lot of conflict and um as much as they're happy to receive messages from you they're struggling they are struggling The Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles is that um, they are looking for some sort of financial success, home stability, finances, things like that. That's what they're focused on. That's what they want to do, okay? Um, I feel like they are detached, okay? And they're sort of like trying to hang on to the memories of you and trying to, um, you know, remember the love that they had towards you. But they feel they have success where they are, even though it's showing up that where they are is very controlling, um, very mentally conflicted, very much in their head, okay? Um, yeah. They may try and sneak away to come and see you, but they, they're feeling very protective at the same time, okay? Mm. something's been revealed in this relationship that they're in or well, something is going to be revealed we've got the tower moment that is coming in and judgment okay well we've got two cards here that represent scorpio so something's going through a major change right now okay um Whatever it is, is is the seeds, whatever was planted, is now beginning to show, okay? So, um, if you've thrown yourself into your work and starting to be successful and moved away from third-party interferences, and I feel like there was a lot of people interfering in whatever you were doing, but now you're kind of like moving forward and you, um, the fruits of your labour are going to start to show, Okay. When I look over here between you and this person, you do have the Ace of Pentacles. Um, you two have withdrawn. You two have withdrawn, okay? Um, there's been time apart. There has been time apart. This person keeps reminiscing about you. You know, they do want to um, have a victory with you. They want to see some sort of victory with you or they'd like to just, um, you know, bring some happiness back between you and this person, right? So I kind of feel like they are going to come towards you. They're a bit bitter. Well, you know, with the King of Swords, is somebody's coming in with logical think uh, the thinking, but... I do see with the Ace of Pentacles and the two of the lovers, all right, it's having time out may have been the best thing you two ever did, okay? Um, but, yeah, you have suffered a quite a deal of a loss here, all right? Hmm. 
you know, I kind of see that there, there is a lot of love with this person from the past, but at the same time, it's like you want to look at your options. You, you still have your cup of love that you want to offer to other people. Mm. You're going to take a leap of faith. Yeah. Mm. You know that the universe brought you and this person back together, but a lot of people somehow um, are, are gravitating towards you. Everybody wants to be in your circle, okay? Um, the only person that doesn't want to be your, in your circle right now um, is somebody that you want to take a leap of faith with. And um, look, you keep winning the battle and you don't win the war, but you just need to clear the, the air between this. There's been a heavy burden that's been um, put on people and, um, you know, you lost this, this beautiful connection that you had and it looks like you want to bring things maybe back to balance but it's going to be slow you put this person in a third party situation or they may be in the third party and you walked away to go to somebody who was it more who was enticing you okay you went towards a high priestess that was the choice that you had or maybe you had no choice right but it seems to be that you need to move in a different direction. You seem to be, um, there's a message that is going to come in. Um, you want to melt the ice between you and, and this lover, okay? Because you know that they that you hurt them. You know that you turned their back, okay? So your choices were, was between a high priestess and the empress. Well, the empress is all the queens put in one, so she's a stronger version than the high priestess, the the high priestess is somebody that can turn. You know, they can create spells. They can um, work with dark magic. They they can do a lot of things. But intuitively, um, they knew that this empress was in the picture and they, they did their best to remove her. Mm. Yep. Yep. The high priestess removed the empress but the empress she has a connection between the divine and her that is very close okay now she may be waiting on you to come back but she will put this to an end if you don't and she will have a new beginning okay she she's limited to to um the things that um stop her from moving forward she doesn't like them she removes them she removes those out of the picture okay so, you know, this empress can turn around and say, go towards your high priestess, go towards the person you're pretending to be in love with, go to whoever you want, go towards the third person. Do not stand in my way. I'm here to make peace. That could be the reason, okay? But I don't think so. I don't think that that's the reason. I think they generally want to put an end to something and they want to have their wish fulfillments with you, all right? It's up to you whether you're going to put in all the hard work, work and effort or not, because I kind of feel that the will of fortune is urging you both to just move on to calmer waters, forgive each other for whatever happened. You both keep thinking about each other. This person will respond to you. They're very slow to come and see you. They've been gone for a period of time. Um, You're very nervous about this because you don't want to feel stuck. You don't want to feel like you're in a third party or you don't want to get hurt again, okay? Um, I kind of feel like if, you, if this ever was to come back, it'll be baby steps. Baby steps because I don't feel this empress wants to know what's going on because the will of fortune is in her favor, okay? She's going to give her cup of love to somebody. Um, I think she just wants to know where you are. Okay. But with the Empress, I kind of feel her wish is to be with you. 
but she doesn't want any of this in interference and interference is always going to be there okay um i feel like whoever she's um her heart is attached to needs to go through a spiritual journey of awakening transformation and um getting out of this devilish energy that that they're in the toxic behavior and she doesn't care whether that includes her or not but She's going to fix something. She's going to fix the friendship. Okay. Whoever this person gravitated to. Um, okay. This person gives them everything that they require. Uh, but they are coming in as the Queen of Swords. Somebody who's very cold and detached. And I feel like this person has picked up on this energy of being cold and detached. And uh, you may see a different person when you sit and talk to this person. You're not going to like what they've become. Or they're doing it on purpose to you. But you as the Empress, <laughs> it's very hard to, to fool you, okay? But nevertheless, I see peace and understanding is going to come into the picture. So everybody's going to be able to move forward, okay? With the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like it is going to go into Karma Waters uh with the hierophant there will be forgiveness the four of cups memories of you two will always be there okay um i kind of feel with this message that's the last attempt that is the last attempt with this message because otherwise you feel like somebody's making a fool out of you okay um, they're going to be slow to respond, I can tell you now. So I feel like this person is going to uh, be trapped, okay? They're, they're trapped in the future. They're trapped where they are right now. Um, as much as they want to come and, and see you, the grass is growing underneath their feet, Okay. They are still communicating with somebody, a third party. They, they are. Hmm. They may have told you that they're not, but they are. All right, everyone. I don't know whether this message is going to be received or not. Well, I can tell you now that um, if it isn't, then um, you won't be sticking around. You won't be sticking around. Um, you will be moving on. I do see that there is somebody else that is coming into your life. I do see that there is somebody who wants to give you an equal give and take, okay? Um, this is a person that's very spiritual, a person that is um, looking to give their couple up to somebody. They do see you as the empress, but they do see that you are a little bit withdrawn and not forthcoming, but um, they're enjoying your company right now, but you can't help but to gravitate to this person. So you want to clear your mind. You want to have a conversation with this person. You need to know. You need to know because your heart still belongs there, but your mind is saying to you that they're not, they're not interested or um, you should be moving forward logically. You are trying to make head over heart decision. And I kind of feel like um, if you were to sit and talk to this person, then your decision will be a lot easier than what you think. Okay. All right, everyone. I wish you all the best. And we'll see you next time.